Members of the National Tripartite Council, along with its partners and stakeholders, paid a courtesy call on the president of the Industrial Tribunal today. This is the council pushes for an initiative which is expected to benefit workers across the country. Fern Carey explains. The National Tripartite Council is pushing an initiative in partnership with the Industrial Tribunal that will see all of the functions of the tribunal transferred to the civil side of the court. The legal upgrade is expected to ensure that the country's dispute resolution system has the powers it needs to enforce its own rulings. Chairman Robert Farquharson says the council made recommendations to the government back in January of this year. He says the transformations will work hand in hand with the technical upgrades at the Industrial Tribunal. The four bills that were submitted to the government for consideration um, were submitted after we have consulted with the Bahamas Bar Council, with trade union leaders, with labor advocates, and with the International Labor Organization, with the Chief Justice. And we also submitted this recommendation to the Attorney General. The Tribal Council held consultation with the Office of the Attorney General, and we have a date of September the 30th, where uh, the Attorney General has indicated that he will get back to the Council through the Minister of Labor with his recommendations. The move is also expected to restore the confidence of workers across the country in the Tribunal. The Industrial Tribunal has had to realize that they have no teeth when it comes to enforcing their own ruling. We wholeheartedly agree that this transformation is vital, Madam, Sec Madam President, to the restoration of confidence and support, the transforming and the trans transferring of the functions of the Industrial Tribunal to the Civil Division of the Supreme Court. Now once the functions of the Tribunal are transferred to the civil side of the court, it will have tremendous benefits for workers across the country. But oftentimes, employers are of the view that we can't even enforce the $5,000 fine on them when they refuse to show up. So now that Madam President has that power, let me warn those employers who feel as though they don't have to show up for conciliation. We will now ask Madam President to use her powers and fine them the $5,000. This, we believe, will bring some relief to some of the workers who are taken advantage of when employers don't show up the conciliations and who believe that they can use high-profile lawyers to actually circumvent the law. Meantime, all sides say they await the legal transformation of the Industrial Tribunal. For Inquiry, ZNS Network News.